and just just notice him right there. Hey, that's a smaller dog. I haven't talked to him in months, months, months. That's a small dog. Oh my God, he got a puppy. Oh. Oh, Charlie, gee. Wondering where you've been hiding out. Where oh, you've been hiding out? Half the winter it didn't go out in the state. What's your problem? I have lots of dogs. Now, I was just going to say that. That's what I said at the beginning of the video. Is that a puppy? That's my baby. Oh, yeah. How's the water, Charles? You're doing She's good. Doing uh, hey, Charles, how you doing? <laughs> well, that's a. Oh my God, look at that. How old? She's three and a half months or something. Oh. Named Bella. Good girl. You, so that's two my dogs you lost. First puppy. This is my fifth boxer. Oh my God, I know I can't be. That's your fifth one. Yeah. They don't live long one. Well, they all lived, uh, let's see, one was 12, one was 13, and the other one was 15, and then the last one uh, just died at nine. She had cancer. Oh, yeah, I'll so, talk to you. So I'll talk to you. Never again for the fifth time. Yeah, the win, the win. They're around here, yeah. So, never again for the fifth time, and then looked in Kijiji, and there it was, smiling at me. So, that? Yeah. From Kijiji? She's a pup, yeah. How, will we pay, how much pay for that? Three fifty? Oh, I don't get into that kind of thing. Uh, that's People off the take a good money and start bumming from it. <laughs> I'll ask you off the camera, then I could bump from you after. So, uh, you, how the other one died? Cancer. Yeah, you, you, so you've been going through a rough. Quick, yeah. You've been going through a rough period, yeah. I seen you yeah. walk by somewhere with a long stick. Oh yeah, that was when it was icy. I had a stick with a spike on it. So yeah. I need a third leg now because the two I got are kind of starting to wear out. So, <laughs> so uh, anyway, Danny Waters, yeah. former lawyer. How it has been? How long has it been? Oh God, six, eight months, more maybe, I don't know. So, uh, is Carl Taloff in, in hell or in, or in heaven? Well, heaven's reserved for dogs because people don't deserve it. So I don't have to worry about where Carl is. When the body goes, the mind goes, everything goes. Carl's just food for worms now. So, uh, but I mean, he met his maker. No, he didn't meet any maker. He met the ground and he'll rot like the rest of us and there's nowhere to go. Whatever Carl did or didn't do, died with him. But That's you, it. You don't think he uh, he met St. Peter's uh, at the gate? Why in hell would he want to meet St. Peter? You know, he's too old for Carl. <laughs> well, about 2000, 2000, over 2,000 years old. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line well, is... St. Peter was stolen from other religions anyway because Christianity stole every one of their uh, little, little pieces of information from other religions. So now he's dead. Uh, is there yeah. any? Is there any so well, he, he was old enough. He was in his 80s. He, you know, his brother died much younger. He was in my class in high school. So would you say he was the biggest pedophile in the I history of New Brunswick? Was. I know he liked little boys, but you know he was made just like the rest of us, created and lived in this world and made the way he was, and that's it. Yeah, but I mean, Kingsclair, the biggest uh, scandal. So, yeah. That's why we're shut down. Well, why do you think people join, you know, go to the Boy Scouts and go to these places, become a priest? You know? well, I mean, That's they, where the boys are. No, no, they, no, no, they have a heart. They want to serve. Of they course want, they do. They want to serve. Yeah, they do, and they're human too. So they're and they go the extra step. The extra step to serve to go with little boys. That's the way they're made. There's no such thing as a... That's the way they're made. If you've got such faith in the Maker, the Maker is making them. So you know, chastise your God. If that's what you know, you think is God's epitome of you know, humans in, in the form of God, pedophiles are forms of God. They're in the image of God. So Just why? Like the rest of so us. why are pedophiles exist? What makes them become? It's, D, it's DNA. Same reason that people, you know, guys like girls, guys like guys, girls like girls, girls like guys. It's all chemical anyway. It's natural. This is a species that is alive, and the tendency of life is to stay alive. And then the second tendency, once you stay alive long enough, is to make a part of a copy of yourself. That's the life force. That's what we're stuck with three billion years after the first bacteria was formed on Earth. So, uh, it's and that's what we've come to. That one bacteria, single bacteria, this is it, the result. I say it's possible that a person, my priest, I know him, uh, Father Brian, I've known him, for, well, some I've known him for, i known him for 50 years, and he's close to a saint, and he's yeah. not a pedophile. Sure. He coached kids, he did everything. But that's where the pedophiles would go. And if I were a pedophile, I'd join the priesthood. I'd start to believe the Almighty. You have a bad one in 
Capelet was his name, Camille Legier. He was he was a bad one. Boy Scout, everything, everything, bad one. Very bad. You know, that's a fine some fine priest. So you have some sympathy for Carl Toff, the way he acted on this on this earth? Yeah, Carl was a very fine guy. Very fine guy. Very fine and sensitive. And he didn't betray any trusts of any children and stuff like that. Carl got the ones that came in there with no family and befriended them. He also got the ones who were doing tricks on the street, you know, blow jobs for five bucks or so. And, and Carl, Carl didn't have to do anything. He just came from on a weekend painting job and, you know, he got his jollies. And it wasn't anybody that he was abusing that was first timers for like Carl. So when they say the definition of notorious pedophile in New Brunswick, you don't take Carl Tuff names well, from doing this. You know, anybody gets their name in the paper continuously. Great, I was notorious there for a while. Yeah, me too. And for good reason. And you too. See? Yeah, so for bad reasons. On your obituary, the notorious blogger finally hey. fucked off. Ah, uh, they'll say good things about me when That's when I'm dead. When I'm dead. He was the journalist of all journalists. He was the pain in the ass of all pain in the ass. Most people I talk to think well of you. you know? oh, yeah. Nobody's pissed off. Even the cops. You know? As long as they're not in the line of fire, they, they somebody else's discomfort they can handle. It. Well, uh, it depends. Some of them, but the problem with cops is uh, they're uh, the bad cops are supported by the establishment. Oh, that's the problem. problem. Of course, sir. that's the problem. That's the problem with you. Yeah. Have a guillotine set up at Officer Square, put six well, cops can. on it, and then that. you eliminate the problem. Well, but then again, they'll put me there. The first contrary one. to your wretched behavior, you know, we have a good police force here, and we don't have that much crime. Wretched behavior. What does that mean? Well, in order to bring the police to your attention. Yeah, but a lot of people sneak around with their crimes, you know, smoke a little weed, oh, yeah. cubby holes, stuff like that. You know. But you don't blatantly just stand up there and say you're an asshole, you're right into their face. Me, I don't do that. That's ridiculous. I said, listen, you ask, I mean, you police officer. Know. You know, I mean, you I'm about to but I have a yeah. mental illness. You and know what and I mean? the truth will not set them free, and it won't set you free. It'll lock you up. It'll lock me up. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very biblical, too. The Bible has that. The truth will set you free. And it won't. You tell the truth often enough in this new lying world, and, and you'll get locked up. That's oh, what yes. we're coming to. Oh, yeah, I know. And it's getting worse. Honesty has disappeared. Is, the is real it? has disappeared. What do you think of that poor woman or the, the inmates that's forced to walk home? We already had this conversation. And once your sentence is done, they say, here's a Google yeah. map, and then walk that home. That happens. There's no obligation. There's no sympathy. Otherwise, why is the guy at the job? If he had any kind of empathy and sympathy, he wouldn't be working there. True. Because you can't. And if you work there long enough, it'll twist you any institution. The prisoners uh, and, and the wardens and, and the guards, uh, there's no difference between them except the color of their clothing. So you think it's a work creation project to have people like me or people with mental illness or troublemakers to put them in jail is a wrong work no, creation it's just the way some people like to handle things. Get it off the street, hide it. So one more, one more thing. This is going to be a long summer. Uh, I'm going to ask you one, one question. You be a, a, two, two things. Two things I'm going to ask you. Uh, number one, uh, you're gonna after July 1st, you're gonna walk around with a joint in your mouth and puff a cigarette. Well, no, because you won't be allowed to do it in public, and some you places you can't. You only can smoke it at home and all that. I don't care what their stupid rules are. Uh, nothing's going to change me. When Ottawa does certain things, I, I don't give a damn about them. I have my set of rules and laws. Yes, you do. And one those more, are mine. one more thing. How many a beautiful uh, woman have you met with this uh, puppy? Um, puppy. More than with Merle. 